Hello children, so today we will explore the world of creepy crawlies. This creepy crawlies includes insects, spiders, earthworm, scorpions. They are small animals which crawls, flies and creeps in the soil, in water, on plants and in the air. Insects. Insects are tiny creatures which crawl as well as fly. They can crawl with the help of their body and they can also fly. They usually have six legs. They are very soft bodies with no bones. Cockroach, beetles, webs and housefly are some insects which crawls as well as they can fly. Insects like butterfly, mosquitoes cannot crawl but they can only fly. Parts of an insect body. Head, then we have thorax and finally we have abdomen. It is divided into three main parts. They also have antenna. The two fillers are called antenna and they usually have soft body with six legs. Honey bees are social insects. They make hives in which they collect nectar from flowers and make honey. Bees live in colonies. There is only one queen bee in a colony. She lays eggs. A queen bee can lay, lay as many as 1500 eggs in a day. The rest of the bees in the colonies are worker bees. They collect food and defend the colony. Here I will discuss some facts about bees. There are 20,000 different bee species in the world, different types, uh, different species, okay? And they live in colonies. And there are three types of bees in the colony, the queen bee. There is only one queen bee in a colony, the worker bees and the drone. The queen bee and the worker bees are females. Females are, means they are girls, females. So worker bees work very hard. They collect nectar from the flowers. They turn the nectar into honey. They also build the honeycomb. Honeycombs are the is the home of the honey bees where they live and they collect uh, the nectar and they convert the, their to honey. They also take care of eggs as a queen bee can lay 1500 eggs in a day though there, there are worker bees to take care of the eggs. They also defend the hive from their enemy. So there are lots of cooperation needed to live in a honeycomb and they are very helpful to each other. Insect need a safe place to live. Most insects hide themselves to protect them from their enemies. Generally insects live in dark and dirty places. In the picture you can see they are living in dark and dirty and moist places. Cockroaches they are nocturnal and they hide in the day. They come out during night when the lights are turned off and they make holes in the garden. And uh, insects like mosquito and house fly, they quickly fly whenever they see any danger. So shelter is important for even for the insects. Insects can be harmful. Some insects like housefly, they carry lots of germs with them. They generally sit on garbage, dirt and dust. These germs can cause serious illness to us. So it's very important to keep our house and surrounding clean. Some insects have sting like honeybee and webs and that cause, causes pain, redness and swelling of skin. It also causes skin irritation. Mosquitoes suck human blood and causes diseases like malaria, dengue, chikungunya. So, and mosquito they generally breed in stagnant water. So, 
their children we should always keep our home and our surrounding clean so that the insect cannot make their home and we should avoid getting ill because of insects some insects are very useful they help in pollination so what do you mean by pollination pollination is a process by which pollen grains are transferred from the male flower to the female part of the flower and as a result there are more plants and more flowers so whenever honey bee they collect nectar from the flower so while collecting nectar the pollen grains present in the flower they get attached to their body and when they move from one flower to another flower this pollen grains it transfers it get transfers to the female part of the plant and then pollination happens so as a result of pollination we get more plants and more flowers we also get silk from silk worm honeys they convert nectar from flowers to honey so it helps in pollination we get silk and honey so in this way insects are useful to us animals with long tube like bodies are called worms earthworm centipede millipede are some example of worms they have segmented body and they move by shortening and expanding their bodies can you see the first picture that is a picture of a earthworm the different segments are there so they will shorten one segment and then they will expand the other part so in that way they will move snail is also a kind of worm it is very slimy and it has a shell on its back spiders and scorpions are neither insects nor worms they belong to a family of animals called arachnids they have eight legs spiders trap their prey in web made by a kind of silk produced from their stomach they make cobwebs where their prey or the insect it get traps there and the in, uh, spider eats them scorpions they have sharp sting at the end of their tail with which they sting or bite it's very poisonous water insects some animals live a portion of their life cycle in water not the whole life cycle only a portion of the life cycle in water they feed on other insects and they hunt under water some examples of water insect are may fly stone fly dragon fly drone fly food of insects some insects eat or feed on smaller insects in the first picture you can see a bigger insect is eating the smaller one some insects like earthworm they eat that rotten organic waste spider they make cobwebs they usually catch their prey in their web and then they eat it spiders are carnivorous some animals like mosquito leeches they feed on blood of others thank you children